That's me, I'm Scrooge and I got all mileage Bolly and I'm the baddest cat in all this world. I've been studying all my life how to Scrooge people and I guarantee you I've done some fine work in that direction. Cratch it. Yes, sir. You busy? I surely is, sir. See that you keep busy. There ain't no dangling wanging around here. Keep everybody tight and tell them two cats come in here want to get some money. I ain't giving no money away. They're messing with Scrooge. I'm taking it in. I ain't putting it out. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Well, keep it clear. People come around here wanting my gold. It's all trying to pry into my vault. Every time I turn around, somebody's trying to snap. Tell my nephew I don't want to have no dinner with him. And if he never comes in here again, that'll be too soon. I'll tell the cat, see that you do. I understand these people over after my gold. I close up this here place and, and uh, what's, what? Yeah, let me tell you something else. You think that you're going to get off Christmas Day? Well, I was hoping, sir, that you'd let me knock off just a little while for Christmas Eve because I want to go home and cool the goose. Well, if you're going to get off Christmas Eve, you're going to have to work all day Christmas. You hear me? I hear you, sir. I'm with it. Well, I guess they're going on home here. So Scrooge takes off and he cuts on down the street and the snow is blowing and the wind is whooing and Scrooge is going along in his loose soul and his loose clothes and his hard cash box and his big money mine going on in his wig and he ding, ding, ding up the stairs and he opens his door and he gets inside and he puts a double lock on the door because he's a little bug tonight. he been saying humbug so long and humbug this and humbug that he done give himself a natural humbug. He's got the bug humming in him, see? So he double locked the door, and he sat there, and all of a sudden there's an old bell laying over there in the corner, and the bell goes ding, 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 ding. Scrooge said, what's that? Dang, dong. He said, what's that? Bell started ring. Bang, dong, boom, boom. Pretty soon all the bells all over the house started ring. Ding, ding, bang, bang, dong. Dang, dong, boom, boom, dang, dong, boom, boom. And he hears somebody like some chain cats are pulling all the chains from the chains of time up the hill of strife, ringing and dang. They said, what is all that ringing and dang with them chains? And all of a sudden, bloop. In come a cat, the wildest looking cat you ever see in his life. Real gone cat, and Scrooge does a real wild thing. He says, I know who that stud is. That's Molly. He says, I know that's Molly. What's he doing here? He says, hey, Molly. He says, yes, that's me. He says, man, you sure chained up there, man. You got chains built all over you there. He says, well, I put them on myself. That's the way I lived it. I chained myself. I hung myself up with all these chains, you know, being parsimonious, understand me. I can't get them off. Now, I've been lugging these chains all over the country for the past seven years. That's a long time. What you want with me there, Molly, Molly? Because I got your barley. That's why you... I don't mess with no barley no more. I wish I'd give it all away when I had it. And I'm going to tell you something else, too. I'm a spook, you know that? You telling me? I know you a spook, Molly, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get straight with you. I'm going to tell you something else, too, Mr. Scroogey, Scroogey. There going to be three more gaslighting spooks come in to see you. He said, three more gaslighting spooks? Man, I said, one spook's enough. I said, can't I have them all at one time? I said, no, they're coming one at a time. First one will be 11, the next one will be 12, the next one will be 1. I said, man, it's how I don't dig it. It ain't what you dig, Scrooge. It's what you're putting down. You've been a very solid cat all this time. You're going to be gaslighted by these spooks. Well, they say, if it got to be gas, it ain't going to cost me no money, is it? Cost you more than that, Scrooge. He said, it ain't no more than money. He said, you find out. Molly split. And old Scrooge is sitting there sweating and ding and ding. And all of a sudden, man, he hears some crazy, wild kind of a thing going on. He don't know just what it is. And all of a sudden, oh, yeah, yeah. Boom. Here comes a great, big, fat spook. Look like takes 170 wings and lift him off over the housetop. And he's got a gold beat up cat. And then strangly legs and strangly arms. And man, pedicured eyes and all out of his skull. Spooking up a storm, and he looks at old Scrooge and he says, Scrooge is standing there in the corner and feel like a disrupted, small, disregarded, and unclaimed white mice midget style. He's sitting over there, and old and this Spook say, Come with me, because I is the ghost of the Christmas past. And Scrooge said, Do I have to say, You certainly do. And he got on the ghost's wing, and he took off. And he's flying old Scrooge over the top of the mountain, the wind is blowing, and the wind is popping his wake, and he's looking down and seeing all these crazy scenes going on, zoom, he goes for a few more miles and whoosh, takes him down to a sunlit pasture, and the sunlit pasture is full of children, and they're singing and dancing and loving and going and swinging, and, and Scrooge said, hey, Scrooge said, look, 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 that, that's me down there, yeah, that's you, that's you, he said, I look pretty good, and he said, yeah, but you don't look good now, he said, I'm going to hit you, you got to get yourself straight, something terrible going to happen, you zoom, he takes him over to another place, and he shows him a pretty little chick, got dimples, three dimples on each chin, and she got three little dimple children, and the next little dimple on the way, and there's a real swinging cat around. Man, it's a happy time place. Looks like 17 carnivals. 
taken off. And Scrooge looked at his chick and said, I remember that chick, I could have married her one time. Spook said, yeah, you could if you wasn't so tight in your purse. Y'all are thinking about yourself, that's what happened. He said, let me hit you further, Mr. Scrooge. Let me tell you one thing, you could have got everything straight if you wanted, and you better straighten up. Scrooge said, take me home. The ghost said, I will. <laughs> Boom, and he's home again. He said, oh, man, that was a shaker. He said, I don't know, it's jumping off here, but he said, this whole thing, this whole thing is shaking me up pretty bad. He said, I'm going to tell you right now. I said, I don't know. Here comes another big spook. Ooh, he's a wild-looking spook. He's a crazy-looking spook. He's a fire-out spook. He's a gaslight spook. He's got a gaslight right on the top of his wig, going around like one of them automatic pilot lights in the lighthouse. And he's done gassing up the whole scene. He said, come with me. I'm the ghost of Christmas present. And Scrooge look around and see the joint is loaded with apples and bananas and, and oranges and, and credilies and aquavots and ripper lips and all kinds of crazy wild grapes and crazy Christmas scenes and nuts and, and candy. And he said, come with me. He done took off again. He said, I'm the ghost of the Christmas present. He said, I'm going to show you what's going on in this world and how the people dig Christmas and how to all enjoy and he took them over to a little old outcast island and they're sitting on a small beat up rock with two studs chomping up on a can of beans singing Merry Christmas with you Merry Christmas with you Merry Christmas to the whole world and so on and so forth and they show them the people jumping for joy here and they show the cats it ain't got nothing got something anyway and they all jump for joy singing Merry Christmas and the bells is ringing he said now you get yourself straight and see how things is jump come with me so they fly over to Cratchit's place and they're little old tiny Tim he's singing with a quarter crochet and a little crazy scene on his crutch fiddling around, you know what I mean? And can on, see, and they're all talking about, look at this here goose. And they look down at a little goose about about the size of a beat up retarded sparrow. And everybody's oohing and on all over this goose. And they're saying, when we gonna spread it and so on. And Tiny Tim say, God bless everyone, even up and including old Scroogey Scrooge. God bless everyone. That's what Tiny Tim say. And old Scrooge got wet eyes. Uh -huh. Took him back again. Wow! <laughs> Woo! whole side of the building up, boom, and come a long angular spook, looked like 17 gas lighters, stove pipes hung together with jingle jangle bells all over, spook takes a look at this cat and says, do I have to go with you, he say, you suddenly do, cause I'm the ghost of Christmas future, he say, come with me, he say, where are we going, to say, none of your business, uh -huh. and he takes those screws and they cut off all the flying, and they're flying around the moonlight, they're shining down, son. boom, they're in the graveyard, ooh, a while, ooh, crazy spooky graveyard and old Scrooge is walking around and finally something steps out at him like he was stuck in the force of his eyes with some sort of an electronic pitchfork and he reads on a, one of them billboards in that graveyard and say this is Scrooge the baddest cat that ever lived he ain't had nothing he won't have nothing and he ain't got nothing now period and Scrooge looks at his name Scrooge what he's doing and the man he said well come with me man. they go over to another place and he goes are you going to the funeral say not me man I wouldn't go near that cat dead or alive <laughs> they're going to pay me get near that cat say what cat is that and suddenly the comes comes Scrooge to in the coffin factory and they see all these coffins laying around and they see one coffin all of us and got flowers around this poor little coffin he got nothing on it but just some pine wood bowl and old Scrooge look up the coffin and look at this and that but he's afraid to look all the way for he knows who is in that coffin so zoom he swings on back again and the ghost puts him down and old Scrooge is shaking and shivering and he finally falls into a real wild crazy Myers's coma and he falls out for how long he don't know when he wakes up in the morning Oh, the sun was shining on the glorious snow And old Scrooge is feeling so groovy and so wild And he tick, 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 toes over the window He up with the window, see a little cat I say, hey boy, I said, yes sir He said, you know that great big giant king-sized bird down in Doodley's window? He said, you, you mean the prize bird? No, I said, I mean that big, great big king-sized bird He said, go get that bird Here's a 20 He knocks a 20 on him He said, go get that bird And here's 10 more for a cat and here's five dollars for your sister and here's twenty-two fifty for your uncle's new bicycle and he said tell anybody wants anything see Scrooge he said I'm flying this here Christmas he said I want to see Cratchit swing out with a great big swing and happy dinner he said I'm with it all the way and old Scrooge gets dressed and he's walking down the street and ding dong ding dong ding dong the bells is ringing Scrooge got a big smile on his face and people that he's seen for twenty years never said hello said good morning Mr. Scrooge he said what you say baby and he can on and can on he's happy as the day is long and and he finally fell into old Bob Cratchit's place and he's got Christmas toys and Christmas jars and Christmas presents for everybody and they just open the goose and little Tiny Tim see him come and he say, God bless Mr. Scrooge. He done did the turnabout. He's the Lord 
Bob's born today. And that's the story of Scrooge. You can get with it if you want to. There's only one way straight to the road of love.